princess and welcome to another what's in my bag video today we're going to be transitioning into the lug scuttle uh, which is a convertible crossbody shoulder bag and this is in peacock emerald or peacock um, i called it peacock multi the other day and thank you to the ladies who pointed out that in fact peacock multi is a slightly different um, pattern but i get a little confused because I've never seen those two, so my apologies for that. But this bag I just acquired last week. I got it from a fellow lug nut. Um, thanks again, Susie, for that. But it is a beautiful, beautiful teals and blues with a little bit of purple in the pattern. And I was trying to decide, I for sure want to try the scuttle. This will be my first time using the scuttle. Um, but I also have this same beautiful pattern in the mini puddle jumper three. And I have used this style, but I haven't used this bag. But I did bring it out anyways, because size-wise, I think they have a similar capacity, completely different layouts. But you can actually see all of this purple in the pattern compared to this one. And um, I did actually, this one has the tag, so I wanted to look. And this one is in fact called Peacock Multi. So you can see the difference there, which is to me quite subtle. And this one actually has the tags too, even though they're not on the bag. And this one is Peacock Emerald. So that's the confirmation if you needed it. I didn't, I already knew I was wrong <laughs> because I trust the lug nuts. But there you can see again, there's just a lot more purple in the Peacock Multi versus the, versus the Peacock Emerald. So, okay, enough about that. But let's look real quick at this bag. Um, it has cargo pockets on the, both sides. They do have an elastic top. They're very generous size to them. It has nice long shoulder straps and they have the no slip grip all the way around the top handle portion in this pretty teal color. And it's nice grab on there. And because they have the no slip grip, they're not just always gonna be falling off your shoulder. So they stay up pretty well. Nice, comfortable strap drop there. And then it also has a removable adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. Let's just go ahead and just hook that on here. It has the gunmetal fittings and the loops are obviously right there on the bag. So let's look real quick, see if I have it the right length. Okay, that's pretty low even for me. And so I think I'm gonna leave it there for the moment anyways. Okay. So definitely a nice, generous adjustability because there's still a lot more room to left to go on this strap. Um, the straps do have these metal fittings, so when you're not using them, they will lay flat, but they are not removable, so you're stuck with them. There is a foam pocket right on the front. It is a soft line magnetic closure, and on the front there is also a vertical pocket that is about this much of the bag, this sort of half of that front. And inside there is a key bungee as well. And when I got this bag, I was um, noting that the interior didn't look like my other peacock items. That's because it's peacock emerald, not because of the different style. The interior of the peacock has a different interior, by the way. So not to go backwards, but you can see, now I said it was having feathers. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That should have been a clue. <laughs> Not always the case, you know, but anyway. So that's the front. On the back of the bag, you have one zipper pocket that goes all the way across. And in that pocket, you have two pen slots and you have four card slots that are stacked vertically and that, that is RFID as well. So inside the bag, you have one zipper, two pockets here. So you have a separation in the middle and I just put the tags right back in here, but I need to take them out because I'm using the bag. And then I have two cargo pockets on this side. So pretty straightforward. And for the fans of the Glenna from Vera, very Glenna-like um, for shape and style and format. So what are we gonna move into this bag? Well, let me set that aside for just one moment. I tried to find all of my peacock stuff, which is not very much. I really, really, really want a transport envelope set in Peacock, which I haven't seen. I don't know if it ever existed, but I hope it comes out. 
But I do have a nice big chuggy. This is a 16 ounce. It came with my huggy. This, this is the one I use for my dog walks every day. Not the bottle, but the huggy. <laughs> but the bottle fits very nicely in the cargo pockets. It is the taller one, so it does stick out quite a bit, but it's secure in there. So we have that option. Um, and since I was pulling that out and thinking about that, I thought, well, yeah. I'm going to use my snack towers because now I have teal and purple ones. So I, you can mix and match because these just twist off of each other. So you can customize your stack however you want. And so three different size ones right here. And so I just went teal, purple, teal because those are the colors in my bag. Even though the purple on here is a little more subtle. Um, but I have just some sunflower seeds. So it's one serving serving of almonds and then a serving of keto trail mix so that when I'm out and about, if I get hungry, then I can have that either outside the bag or inside the bag. But since it's just a little shorter than the chuggy, it actually will fit in there pretty nicely. For the moment, I'm gonna set it aside though. So when we pack it up, it's not gonna be banging around. I do also have another snack tower. This one is from Whiskware. I got it on Amazon, but it is Harry Potter and there's several different um, characters and colors. I chose this one because purple and who doesn't love Dumbledore and the beautiful owl. Um, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right now. I'll think of it when I'm not trying to. But anyways, this also fits in here even though it's bigger around. It fits in there. Now, I'm definitely not carrying this one around because this one has candy and I don't carry around a lot of candy. It has like baby sweet tart. Um, chewy sweet tart things. It's got Skittles and then in the bottom it has Juju Bees. <laughs> so it's just at home. So you can have one little tidbit of candy. You can satisfy yourself but not eat a bunch. So That stays home in the cupboard in the hidden place. Um, yeah. So then I need a wallet. So I grabbed my handspring in Peacock Multi. And there you go. I have a headless peacock on the back. And I also have a headless peacock on the front. Kind of sad, but anyway, um, beautiful, beautiful wallets. I do like the big wallets. It's a little bigger than the Splits XL. It does have a removable wristlet strap. It opens up like a book. So you have all of these bazillion card slots. You also have two big vertical slots here and here. And then this is a zipper pocket in the middle. On the opposite side, you have a pen slot and you have two more vertical slips. So that is the wallet, and then you have the nice big coin slot on the back. And while we're talking about it, I grabbed my Peacock Multi Pen, because I like to matchy matchy a little bit. Um, yeah, so this wallet, unfortunately for me, does zip backwards. It does drive me nuts. I do get used to it, but then I switch to another wallet and it goes the normal way, so. Uh. I do get frustrated by that. And it doesn't matter like when people say, oh, it's because the wrist look wherever. The wrist look could go either end because it's a zipper thing. And because the card slots are here, I would have thought the wristlet strap would have been on this end so that if I'm holding it and it's getting shaken, they're shaking into their spots versus this way if I hold it, they're shaking out of their slots, right? So that's my common sense, but I just want it to zip the other way. But the pen does fit perfectly and look beautiful right in there in the mix. So. I will set that aside and we will change the wallet later, but it is going into the bag, obviously. So let's just, you know what? I'm gonna put the wallet in this back pocket, I think. Does it fit easily and nicely in there? It does. So for the moment, it's in the back pocket. The only other peacock accessory I have is the roundabout. Now this is the roundabout, not the roundabout two. So it is the slightly smaller version. My phone does fit in here. Let me grab my phone down here out of this bag. So this front zipper pocket is soft lined and I believe it's supposed to be the, the phone pocket. You could put other things in there, of course, but if you put your phone in, I just have to tilt it and kind of give it a little push. It does fit in there. In the roundabout two, it fits a little better. That's the only difference. Um, so. I can put it in there, but I'm going to leave this pocket open on this item, and I'm going to use this as a, um, a grab-and-go option. Mm, I say that, and I have a big wallet already. So this wallet will not fit inside of the roundabout, too, because it's the same width of it. 
Um, but a grab and go option for all my miscellaneous things or I'm just storing it like a cosmetic bag with my miscellaneous things in the purse. So let's pull off all the tags and things. So this back pocket has a zipper mesh area here. It has four elastics here, but this has a lot of space, so it'll fit a lot of things. On the front, it's a single zipper. Oh, oh no, sorry. Yeah, single zipper. And this is your built-in wallet, which I'm not going to use as a wallet, but I am gonna use it to hold other things, and there is a soft line pouch for sunglasses or whatever. So. We'll leave this out because I think I'm going to pack it as an accessory pouch in my purse. But we have to pack it up with other things. But before we go on, let's start talking about peacocks some more. Um, I have been scooping up a bunch of things from other brands and trying new things and whatnot. So I'll put a video here for my Sin to Be video where I did a haul on some of these items. I did get a few more, and if you watch um, Potato Peach's videos, she and I both fell in love. So we've kind of been feeding each other's peacock frenzy. So like, I might have started it, but then she perpetuated it, and then I, of course, both went back after chatting with her and seeing her pretty picture and got some more. And um, she did a really great video on them as well. So I will defer to that, and I'll put a link for her video down below. Um, but we both have a lot of the same items. She has one that I don't and I have one that she doesn't so it's kind of a cross But I have the um, this one is the mini cosmetic which is a clamshell style which I really like and It is a peacock very clearly and I do like the colors, but it is not a perfect match But I'm still gonna call it a match because thematically it is uh, but really nice zippers on these and I hold a little bit of stuff I have the zipping key, I think this is called, ID and key, sorry, in the purely peacock pattern as well. But this one has that darker um, turquoise type or green. It's a clear ID on this side, zipper on the top, it has the clear ID side and then the back side. It is quilted, so it has some padding to it, um, but it's really, it's a slim profile. And then you can clip it onto things or clip things onto it whichever. I have the happy pouch, so it's just the happy, and that is also in the same, and this one has a different zipper pull, but these have a nice quilted, like a uh, lighten up type nylon interior, but you can see the quilting there, and it's, it's nice. All right, so we'll leave that one, and then I have the coin purse, which is a pretty good size coin purse, actually. This, to me, is almost like a mini cosmetic size, um, so it will hold quite a little bit in there and then I have this little one and this one is one of my favorites actually this is called the security pouch inside it has um, a little bit of space you know it's, it's almost an inch thick but then it has two slip pockets one on either side and it's just it's a really good size it's it's a tech pouch essentially like the original Vera retail side tech pouches were not much bigger than this actually the one that she has that I don't is the techie pouch and it has a clip on it, um, one of these kind of clips, and it's a little smaller than this. It's a great little item, but when I went back, it was already gone and sold out, so I don't have that. But I do have these accessories, so depending on what fits or doesn't fit in my roundabout for accessories, we'll determine which of these items may make it to the bag, so we'll set them aside. But I also have this beautiful notebook. This is a dot grid notebook from Erin Condren, and it does fit in the on-the-go folios as well, but it's five by eight and a quarter inches, and um, it doesn't say how many pages, but it is beautiful, beautiful. And it matches this peacock pretty perfectly, actually. Um, and it does match this one as well. It is a little bit big for a purse notebook though, so I may not carry it around as my purse notebook, but I do have this adorable little notebook that's just blank pages inside, and it has a little clip on it, so I could clip it onto things, or I used to have a pen that clipped on. But this one does, even though it's not peacocks, I think it matches very well with the blues and teals, and it's silvery, but... 
Yeah, so I'm thinking this notebook will be the one that makes it to the purse. Pretty much sure about that. So, sorry, peacock feathers. Okay, now, before I get into all of the rest of the stuff, um, I have another shout out for another YouTuber who probably doesn't even know I exist, but I've been watching a bit of her stuff because we have a lot of common interest with planners, specifically Erin Condren and Happy Planner and Jujubee and Vera Bradley and even Lug. So, shout out to The Gold Project. Thank you very much for your recent video where you showed the pocket toddy, which is a awesome little white pouch thing, all in one. Um, it's on the go premium microfiber smart cloth. Well, I always have a wipe cloth in my tech pouch in my purses, but it's a little one and sometimes I need one for more or I try to wipe my glasses with it and it's just a little small. So this one is just super cute. It is, um, I chose this one that has this, almost looks like um, water art, you know, or, or just, um, if you go to Yellowstone and you have those volcanic pools, it kind of looks like that to me with the, the layers around it and then the crusty earth, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, it's blue on the back side with that microfiber and it has a little elastic on here so you can clip it onto things. I could even clip it onto this pouch, whatever. Um, but then you fold it up, you just fold it in half, and then you flip the pouch inside out. So it has that little pocket of itself, and then you can just like fold it up back into itself. So it's its own little pouch, which is so perfect, and I think that's just great. So I am definitely happy about that. So thank you for that. The other thing she had mentioned on her video, unrelated to that item, was she was talking about how she uses her trolley to carry her tech stuff or camera stuff and she had a charger from anchor and anchor is a-n-k-e-r and I, I liked it i liked it a lot because it had multiple plugs and then it had usb plugs and i was thinking i need to have one for my end table at my couch so that I'm, when i want to charge when i'm watching tv and doing other things but anyways so i went on amazon and i found one it is different than hers um, but I like I like this one better. <laughs> no offense to her, of course. Um, but this this will suit my needs very very well. Hang on, let me take the tag off here. It's because it's a cube. I mean, it's just perfect. So if I want to use this for traveling, which it is specifically marketed for, um, when I went on Amazon, I found that out. But okay, so this one, I mean, it has a nice long. Um, cord, I think it's six feet cord, and it has a little uh, Velcro strap to bind up the cord, but it's so much more compact for travel. But you have one, two, three plugs around there. You have the backside, which I suppose is the bottom, so it'll set there. But then on the top of it, you have three USB, and they are the quick charge, you know, IQ, USB, and you can turn the switch. I don't know what the switch is for, but anyway, so I got a new cord that is great for home and great for travel and there you go will be i don't really need it in the rv though because that has its own usb stuff already i don't even need a cord okay so going on to what we're going to have to pack so let's look at where we're at i'm coming out of the jujube mini b in the pattern duchess and i have on here a bag charm this is a vera bradley berry mary and in there I have a hand sanitizer, so we'll take that out because we need to transfer that. And we'll get rid of the accessory. Put this over here. And then in the front I had my phone, but I've already taken that out. So in here, we'll zip this all the way down. It has gussets, and we'll just kind of show you what's inside. I have a bunch of pouches. So I have a runway envelope in both sizes. I have my Erin Condren pocket calendar. I've got two masks, I've got a wad of keys, I've got a small set piece in Night Stars with the wristlet strap on it, a medium set piece in the same, I've got my Be Rich in Duchess because it matched the bag, I have a wipe pouch, it's not the company brand wipe, wipe pouch, it's just a generic one from Amazon but it was black and white and I always have wipes. In here I have, they're not diaper wipes, they're antimicrobial wipes, 
but I think that these um, pouches seal better and keep them moister than the cylinders they come in. So I've just taken the whole cylinder that I got and put all the wipes in here. So they won't pop out like normal um, diaper wipes would, but I just open it, get what I need, it's fine. Then I have, oh, that's a paper from my friend. And then I had my sunglasses case, which is in Vera Bradley Holland Garden. And the sunglasses are Romantic Paisley. And there is a glasses wipe in there that I added, which might be coming out anyways now. Um, and then in the top, there's one little zipper pocket and I have some Color Street samples from my sister to share and they come with little kits. And then I have my business cards, which is my little Korea case. Okay, so that bag is now empty. Things we're moving into, so I thought perhaps I might go runway envelope to runway envelope, so I grabbed the purple ones because they match with the bag, right? The purple. So that's a possibility. Um, I, before we move in, let's see what options I grabbed. Also grabbed the B set in platform nine and three quarters because color-wise, oh my goodness, it's great match. There you go. So that's a definite possibility. Um, my sunglasses, I initially was thinking, well, they need to transfer to something. So I grabbed a purple case because I didn't have anything to match. Um, so it kind of sort of matches, or not matches, not even coordinates really, but I like purple. But I think I might use the roundabout two pouch, we'll see. But on that note, I'm still thinking, trying to decide. So I have, actually this is a reader's case, but it's the hard clamshell one. And this is um, uh, Deep Night Paisley. So it's like the purples and teals. And so again, it kind of has some coordinating pieces. And this one, same thing, but is in Cloud Vine. So it has like the teals and blues. So I think that goes very, very nicely with it. Um, as I actually like this one better than the other. So I might use this. And I even went to double check. I grabbed a pair of Vera sunglasses. These ones are in um, lilac tapestry, actually. So purple, again. Um, and the front is just black. But they actually fit very, very nicely in... Oops, not that way. <laughs> they do fit in the reader's case. Oh, shoot, they did a second ago anyway. How do they not fit now? There we go. Yeah, so they actually fit perfectly. So probably this one is one I'm gonna go with for now. So we'll just take all of this stuff out of the pile now. All right, next up, I grabbed some other accessories. I thought the Daisy Paisley, or Daisy Dot Paisley rather, this would match as well to an extent or coordinate because of the, the teals and I like it. I think that does go kind of. It also does match a little bit with this one. So there's that. It's an option, but I'm going to say no for now. And then I also grabbed the Daisy Paisley. This is the Lighten Up Partner Pattern. And it has, again, the blues and teals. I do think that matches, but it's kind of big. And it already has some big pouch options. So that also is out. Oh, my chair is not going to hold all this stuff. All right, other things I grabbed, I grabbed a cosmetic trio in Waikiki Paisley. This is a factory style and a factory pattern, but it has, you know, the purples and teals. So, yeah, it doesn't coordinate quite as well, and I already have lots of pouch options, so that's out. But, speaking of pouches, I grabbed this pencil pouch. Now, this is actually in the kaleidoscope pattern, but it is a... Staples exclusive, and this is Kaleidoscope Navy in the pencil pouch. So colors-wise, with the blues and teals, I thought it was possible. I wasn't gonna use it for pencils, but I thought it, you know, it's the same size as my runway envelope, essentially. It could fit some things, and it's a canvas pouch. But again, I have pouches, so I, I'm gonna put that aside. Um, I grabbed two zip IDs that would go very nicely. First, I grabbed my fishy one in the, it's, um, this is a Bahama Bay lanyard, but this was in a different one. It came with Go Fish Teal, and it has that little fishy on there, and there's the Go Fish inside. This was a retail side item. 
But I thought that the teals matched and the blues, so even though the, the critter is a different critter, I thought that matched really well. And I could use the zip ID to hold extra cards. I wondered if maybe the sample sets might fit in here, like if I tuck that zipper thing. And guess what? So they do, they fit perfectly. So I might keep that out and use it for, I might. But then I thought blues and teals, also Kerala Elephants, which was a Dillard's exclusive, but the colors I thought would be really, really good together. And look at that, that matches even better. So I'm gonna set that aside as well. I might use one of those for the nail things. All right, then I also grabbed a factory style um, four piece cosmetic. This one is in their fishy pattern, which has a different name. What, did, what was the name of this one? I don't know, the tag is off. Um, but it was a go fish variant. Um, but again, we have, these are bigger pouches and I don't need the bigger pouches, so that's out. But I have these two that are coin purse size pouches. I don't even have a brand on these. These I got from Amazon um, quite a little while before the holidays and I gave them away to like all the girls like in their stockings. Um, but these two colors and patterns I thought might kind of match um, or coordinate. But now they're OBE, not using those. I also have another notebook. This one is in Cloud Vine since I was thinking I might use this. Then I have a notebook and a pen that this one has the pen slot right in the cover of the journal along with this pocket. Um, so I thought this would be a great option so I have some coordinating within the bag, but I still think it's a little big, so not so much today. It still has a possible chance. All right, I grabbed a blue velvet clamshell cosmetic. This is Vera Bradley and it's the smaller clamshell. This one is like my favorite um, one from them. But I already have enough pouches. Then I also grabbed another wallet option. This is from um, Kipling, actually. And I, I don't remember the name of this wallet, but I will put it in the remarks, the pattern and the wallet, and I also have a cosmetic that matches it. And because the colors, I thought, you know, with the blues and teals and purples, that they kind of would coordinate pretty well. Now, I have the matching wallet already, so the wallet is gonna be out. Um, but I'll put the video here for the haul that I got these in Orlando a couple years back. Um, it's a trifold type wallet, or not. It is a trifold type wallet, but there's a side snap for the front flap. So that flaps out and you have card slots galore. A lot of, yeah, it's a great wallet. So, there we go. And then of course it has the cute little Kipling ape on it that is removable as well. It's on a key ring. So that's out. And because that's out and I have enough pouches, I'm going to ditch this, but this is a clamshell cosmetic, but look how big it is too. I think it's just a little too big for what I'm going to use today. We're almost done with the possibilities here. So I have my brand new Erin Condren Hello Kitty pouch. So I found to hold a couple extra pens or pencils in my bag. Um, but I think we have pen slots already in here, so I'm going to put that out. And then I grabbed, speaking of pencil pouch, not to be used as a pencil pouch, this is an older style, the Vera Bradley pencil pouch in Catalina Blue. And so it has these riveted binder rings, and then it's just one big zipper. So, you know, pretty good sized pouch actually but it's still pretty trim profile, so I thought this would be a great purse bag. And, you know, it's not a perfect match, but the colors with the blues in there, I thought maybe. But that's out, because I think we've kind of established we have enough pouches. Um, and then, this is a side note, but as I was looking for things, I saw this. This is a Vera Bradley Diddy bag, but it's a special one. And this one is in the French Paisley. So yeah, the purples and kind of the lighter teals might kind of go with this, but this is obviously not gonna be in my bag. But I thought if I was using the mini puddle jumper, I could use this in there. But this is the pocket ditty bag. So it has a cinch top, but it has this rectangular shape. So the reason that I brought this out, even though I'm not going to use it at all, like there's no chance this is going in there, 
is because I've been looking for a B-switched. I have B-switched on the brain, which is an insert from Jujube that is perfect size for the B-Lite tote bag. And it also would be good for some of the backpacks and I could transfer purses and just use the insert and it would go great with a lot of Vera totes that I have. But I can't find it anywhere. It's like completely sold out and, and anyways, it's long gone. So I have the Be Moved, which is the bigger one for the bigger totes, but I wanted the smaller one. But I saw this sitting there as I was picking up all this other stuff and this could actually work for that type of thing. I did not yet try it on the uh, Be Light, but I will. That'll be in another video. But it has a snap pocket on the front, so this big slip, if you will. And then on the back, it has two slips separated by a seam down the middle. And inside, it has a zipper pocket here, and then it's just plastic lined. But I thought that does give you some additional organization in a bigger tote. So sorry it ended up stuck in this pile when I brought it out. Now, the last pieces, we need a hand sanitizer to go on the outside of the bag. I don't have any of my Bath & Body Works little hand sanitizers that match really well, so I grabbed a couple of their Bradley items. I have this adorable little turtle on a nylon tote, little miniature tote, and it has a zipper and it is a great size. The inside pattern is actually it's cute. You don't see it very well because it's a tiny piece, but it has little seashells on it, but it's nylon and it has some depth to it. So I thought I could either use this as a mask pouch or from a hand sanitizer, which I'm thinking hand sanitizer, which I have misplaced, but it's here on the table somewhere. We'll get back to it. Um, so I have this one and then I have this adorable little itty bitty backpack, which is in the interior pattern of Moonlight Garden. It has little backpack straps on it and it does have the little firefly on there as well, but the blues and teals, and I think this one matches much, much better. It's, it's like perfect color match, even though the style is different. So this is the one I'm gonna go with. I could actually use both of them because they match each other as well. I don't really think I need two pouches on the outside, um, but I might keep them both. In fact, let's do that because one can have my mask and one can have my hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna hook them both. They both have a quick release hoop look on it and they both also, have zipper closures, and they're both swiveled as well, so. I don't know, is that gonna be too much on there? Let's see, one on the front, one on the back. I think maybe putting them on opposite ends of the bag would be better. Okay, so a lot of choices to make. Um, for the moment, I am gonna leave it like that. We also have, <laughs> the, the decisions I have to make are complicated by many too many options. But I have a great many bag charms, and I grabbed the whole chunk of it just so you get an idea. This is one of like eight carabiners just like this, but they all have different things. Like I have fish, I have little little piggy. That's my lucky pig. I have uh, dragonflies and owl, and I have a big X for Xena, and I have heart from Cinda B, and I have sunshine. And anyways, I grabbed it. And I really only, this one caught my eye. This is a koala from Australia. And it's, it, I got to hold a koala, so this is really cool memories. Um, but the color of it was what caught my eye. So I thought, you know, if I was gonna put a bag charm, it would be this beautiful matched teal metallic. It also is a bottle opener, not that I have any need for that right now. But I think because I already have two bag charms on there that are functional, I'm going to skip this piece altogether. All right, but I do also have a key chain. This is the In The Loop keychain, and this is in the Moonlight Garden. So color-wise, once more, you can see that. Now, I know there's a key bungee in there, but I have a bunch of different key stuff. So what I'm gonna do is separate these. Right now, they're on this mini concerto double one. So it has a quick release loop. And then this one's on a carabiner. Okay, so this is my, my vehicle and my house keys with my medical alert. And I'm gonna put those on the key bungee in here. Because those are the ones I don't really have to pull out so much. 
So they can pretty much stay connected and stay secure in the pouch. The other one is two things. It's my shopping tag bag charm in denim navy, which has all my little things I need for the grocery stores and whatnot. And it's on a key ring. And then I have a small carabiner and I have my mail keys. These ones I'm pulling out all the time. So what I'm gonna do is use this carabiner to clip them all together. Now when I grab them to go in the post office or to get my mail, I take this out of the car, I go into the grocery store, I have that option but I can grab this loop. Now, this loop is really cool actually because it has a snap, so you can snap it onto things. You also can run it around something or through and you can snap it on the other side with a twist. And now you can use the outside pattern which matches the little backpack. That's kind of an awkward thing to do, but I just use it like it's regular. So I'll put this also in the key pocket, but I'm just gonna leave it loose in the pocket. There we go. All right, so now we have to start repacking things into their pouches and decide. Um, so we have tech stuff. We have wired headphones from Bose. We've got a charging cord, two external batteries from Vera Bradley. We've got a flashy squeezy light. Someone was asking me about these on a recent comment. They're from Amazon and you could just look up like credit card flashlight or squeeze light, that kind of thing. And then I do have a screen wiper, which now can come out because I have the toddy pouch. So that is empty. And, oh, there's another pencil pouch we're not using. <laughs> this is my masks that um, are clean masks. The two that I have here was mini concerto and Holland Garden. And these ones are dirty, actually. So, well, not gross dirty or anything, but I'll take out the filter and throw that away. And then put the masks in the laundry. But these other ones are clean. So the pouch is out. I have filters. I have a wildflower black from Lug in the pouch. And then I have, this is actually a Vera Bradley pattern, but it's not a Vera Bradley mask. This is, you know, some China knockoff from Amazon from many years ago before COVID. Um, but there we go. And then I have a butterfly flutter from Vera Bradley. I have other masks I didn't grab. I do not have a peacock one, so obviously I need to go do some more lug shopping again. Um, okay, so the tech stuff and the masks. This is just a purple and teal like bracelet thing. Wallet's out. Let's put the phone in here. This is already getting drawn out, but it'll go finish up strong and fast here. Inside, we're gonna put some pouches. The wipes can go straight in. The, what's in here? This is like miscellaneous oral care stuff. Got dental floss, gum, mints, lip balm from Eos. It's a sweet mint, it's very nice actually. And then I have my Minnie Mouse lip gloss. Okay. Sunglasses are going in a slip pocket along with, not that. Wallet is moving to the inside of the bag. And in the back where I have these card slots, I'm gonna put my cards right in the top one. And the top one actually, is it goes all the way behind the card slot, so it's deeper slip. And then in the front of that, I'm going to put my squeezy light in one of those card slots right on top. I don't know. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Also in here, I thought, oh, it's probably in this pouch. More stuff. I have a notebook. It's out. A manicure kit can stay. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. More stuff. All right. So this is my Swiss Army tool card, and I'm going to put that in one of these card slots. So those are both right inside, and then the slip behind it actually is not a card slot. It goes all the way down, so that's where my note um, business cards are. Then I have my little notebook, and I'm going to put that in the same slot with my business cards, I think. No, it doesn't fit there. But it is going in this pocket. 
And this is a Vera Bradley pen and concerto, but I'm just gonna put that in here as well. And my space pen, pen pencil, red pen, that can go in here as well. So the two pen slots. And then I'm just gonna put the masks in this pocket. There we go. Now, let's talk pouches. Okay, new plan. I'm gonna put the calendar in the front. And the masks in the back. Oh, that is the back. Mm. The masks go in the clear window pocket then. Clear pocket. All right. So now we're down to pouches. I'm gonna use Corolla Elephants for these samples, at least a couple of them. Okay, what are you doing? We don't need all of them, but they will all fit in here, so. In case you wanna give out samples to people, because free nails, well, nail polish anyways. Okay, so that fits very nicely, and I'm just gonna leave the lanyard off. So lanyard's out, but that can fit very nicely in the slip with my sunglasses. Oops. Okay, so that means these are out. My goodness, I have all these options. Here's my sanitizer, which I'm gonna put in the backpack. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so choices. Do I wanna use one of these peacock ones? I actually think, even though they're peacocks, I actually think that the other things match better. Like the Kerala, it just matches better than the peacock, actually. So in case you're wondering why I chose that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use the Kerala clip to hook on my little toddy pouch. And that way I can find it anywhere in my bag. I'll just find that lanyard. So that's going in the bottom of the bag somewhere. So I'm going to go with the, I don't know, I think this pouch is maybe going to work. We'll see. Let's see if we can put everything in here and then we don't need any other pouches. Let's see here. Well, we don't need the crossbody belt strap. And we really don't need the wristlet strap either. Okay. Sunglasses are in a hard case, yeah, they can stay there. Let's do, we've got, headphones can go in the front section, back we put lotion, we've got some wipes, these are antimicrobial wipes individually wrapped. I'm gonna put those in the mesh pocket back here. I've also got two rubber bands for my hair, a comb, I've got hand sanitizers. I've got eucalyptus mint from Bath and Body Works. I've got the everything spray from Amazon. And my little glass bottles. And then I have chapstick is gonna go back here as well. And these little elastics. Those fit perfectly in those elastics. And I think my glucose tabs are maybe gonna go back here. No, that's too big. They'll go back here, but they're gonna have to stand up. And in that same section, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the oil stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Lip gloss, dental floss, gum. And breath strips. This isn't going to work as well as I had intended for everything because we don't have any tech stuff in here yet. So we've got tech and we've got a nutrition bar. This needs to stay in. Maybe with these will fit in here. 
quite nicely. And we'll put the cord in there. You still with me? All right, so the back has a little bit more bulge to it because the way everything fits. But it's basically all inclusive and I am gonna put that wristlet strap back on here. So now I have everything in one pouch except my manicure kit, my headphones. Yes, I don't even need that. Let's see here. So we have the wallet and the pouch can go in there. So I'm gonna put the manicure kit and the headphones in the slip together. This can go. Got the nutrition bar and the toddy pouch in the clear view. So I'm going to get one mask for my current one. So just take that one. And we'll put that in the pouch on the outside. Perfect. And now, inside, because I have individual wipes and hand sanitizer, I'm going to go ahead and take this pouch out. I don't need that many all at once. I don't go anywhere that far. So inside the bag, we have two pockets. We have on this side the sunglasses and the samples in the Kerala Elephant Zip ID. And then on the other side, we have the manicure kit and the earphones. In the clear view, we have the mask filters and the extra mask, two extra masks. On this side, we have the nutrition bar and uh, the pocket toddy. And there's nothing in the middle, but there's still quite a bit of room in here. So I'm just gonna put this big old pouch right there in the bottom. I'm gonna lay it, lay it down horizontally. And then my wallet, which is the handspring, right inside standing up with the strap on top. So very nicely organized and everything's in that its own place definitely can zip up and everything is in here so actually that works well then i have my mask and my hand sanitizer outside and that was a little painful to get through but i think it's going to work very well so that's what's in my lug scuttle handbag in peacock emerald thank you so much for watching i will do another version obe to you anyways because um, you will have just watched this whole thing, but it is 47 minutes long plus. So I'm going to do a short version that will show no kidding just what's in the bag and not the whole transition process. But I know some of you really like that part of it. And it was a fun way to share some of the other accessories that often don't get seen. So um, I will give you both versions. That way you can choose which you like. And um, we may or may not keep both in the future. We'll see which one ends up being more popular. And in case you're wondering what this is, that is my lug injury. My chuggy attacked me, not this one, another one. I was reaching up in the cabinet to grab the peacock one and the other one knocked out and it landed right on my nose. And now it has a little ding on it too on because it hit the floor right after, but whoopsie. Anyways, a little silly, but it happens. Um, yeah, so that's it for this one. Bye for now, wash your hands. Stay safe and happy. Bye.